Hello people. I just thought I'd give my uh, opinion on this uh, smoking sheriff video. Where he's wearing the, uh, where he's dressed up like Ace Ventura in the, <laughs> when he's in the nut house, shall we say. You know what I mean? With the women's neck, tight necklace, he's like a nighty or something on. You know what I mean? Yeah, man, I, I, I can see the funny thing in it. I can. I can see a funny part in that. But I get why people like you and like Video Craig and like trying to pick it apart because he's on at you, like, you know what I mean? So I can see both sides why you're trying to do it. But like, uh, if you're really honest with yourself and look in the mirror, you can tell that's a joke. You know what I mean? You can tell that that's just a bit of fun. You day get out the car. You day get out the car, did he? And like uh, parade round the school. You know what I mean? So, like, uh, you're being a bit dishonest, Bobby. Anyway, I want to listen to him say this at the minute because uh, I always have to turn my sound bar off, man, because the, the sound fucking... You know what I mean? Um, he's telling... He's, he's giving the signal out that it's OK to dress up as a woman and go prancing about, basically. That's the message he's putting out. Um, as far as other kids seeing it, as I said, it'll be very confusing for them. Very confusing. You know, the, remember what... You say it'd be very confusing for him, but you're the guy who, like, sat on Jimmy Savile's lap, man. You didn't see anything wrong with that, like, him, when he was a, when you was a kid. So how would you get a re weird response, man? You didn't find anything weird about Jimmy Savile at the time, did you? When you, when you uh, sat on his lap and felt his lump. You know what I mean? Like, so, Bobby, you're, like, you're clutching at straws, bro, and the fact you analysed it this much, right... Because I watched your early video as well. The fact you analysed it that much, right? I wish you'd do the same with Video Craig, man. And them lyrics. Analyse them to every... Like the way you analyse everything else. But you well... But you well do that. Because... Your coffees depend on it, though. The Bobby. The, 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 the person who's, like, morally right. Like, fuck off, man. Told. Who to look out for. Yeah. I just disagree what what he's done, yeah, and I don't know where he's got the idea from. I think it's a really strange idea, but you know, people take it to heart. To embarrass, so he, so the kid do fucking carry on doing it because he don't want him to dress like that. And you being internet intellectually dishonest there, Bobby. For like I've told you, I understand why. I get it, Colonel Sanders. You know what I mean? Two piece man, fucking hurry up. As you can see here, I've put it up for you. Casa Rolex has put Danny. He lives 15 minutes from me, fancy doorstepping the old fat for the giggle, bro. Hope you and the family are doing well, mate. Now, that might be in humour. That might be in humour, but it's not the first nasty one I've got. And the five years that I've been around in this cup. Oh, fuck off, you tell the first nasty one you've got, man. You've got a history on here being a nasty cunt, man. You know what I mean? And you like you pretend you've like laundered your personality. You're trying to like somebody else, man. I know Bob Cart, man. I'll give you a little uh, shout out. You know what I mean, Mister Window Cleaner, man. Porn bombs channels, right? And he's a window cleaner, man. Would you want that guy as your window cleaner? Would you? You wouldn't, would you? Anyway, Bobby. Take some advice. Why do you analyse some of your uh, best mate stuff? That, that you know the one you sit next to. Analyse some of his shit, man. But you won't, will you? For obvious reasons. Ain't that right? So integrity goes out the window, doesn't it, Bobby? Hey, hey, hey. Anyway, see you later, Rolf.